Hello, viewers. You're welcome to Keep It Simple on Golf TV. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Tolwa Loko Kemide, and I have with me my colleagues and co-hosts with me, Kemi Apolabi and Wiki Akorubari. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Good to have you on set again. Good to be here. It's been a while. Thank mm. you. Yeah. How are you guys here. holding up? Very well. Thank, Thank you. God. Thank God for <laughs> strength. Um, with pain in our heart, but with total submission to the will of God, we announce the passing of our pastor, our mentor, our boss, the head of media, Gospel Faith Mission International, Pastor Emmanuel Follon Shabino, who passed on, on the 28th of April 2021. And um, it's been a very tough time for us, I mean, for the whole body of Christ. And um, we just have to do this. That is why we've not been online for some days now. But we are back and we want to dedicate this episode. And in fact, for the rest of the week, we are having a commemoration episode. And, you know, like the week is just really packed because we're having this funeral as well. We're going to be, you know, informing you ahead of time as to how to live stream, how to just, you know, keep tabs on the events for the week. Yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's a big word, but yeah. we are here. Yeah. Ladies, <laughs> how was it for you? Like, how did you receive the news? And um, um, can you just share your fun memories of it? Okay, um, okay, okay. Kemi, think, who's going first? I think I should go first. Okay. Still, we are not just talking about anybody. It's not someone that's far from us, like someone I there, but someone that was very clo close to us and close to um, Gov TV as a whole. It was someone that we always did meeting and interactions with, a lot of interactions with him. Okay, so when I got the message, it was a friend that called me, and the person was like, Ricky, sorry about this. And... You know, I just caught my phone. I didn't believe it. I went online, I checked, and it, I saw it. And in fact, I've never had like a panic attack before. I thought I couldn't breathe. I was just gasping for hair, and you know, I was I was disorganized. I think I was about to eat then, but you know, that hunger had me feeling since morning just disappeared. I was I was all of a sudden full, but well, it was it was it was a surprise. It was a surprise, but. I want to believe that, or I believe that he is in some way better and greater than where we are right now. So I am trying not to be sad again. Mm. I'm just trying to give God the glory for what he has done for us. Thank Definitely. you. Kemi. Okay, yeah. Fun moments. We've had a lot. Um, apart from the fact that he's my boss, where he at work, he's also my pastor. So I worship in his branch and also, yeah. Of course, he's a very wonderful person. There's so much to say, a whole lot. And mm -hmm. um, I'm just grateful for the opportunity, you know, the privilege I had to worship under his tutelage, you know, to listen to him, to have a beautiful relationship with him. You know, there were times he would just call me and say, I want to pray for you, you know, the whole prayers and everything. I'm just really grateful for the fun times. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. It's a life well spent. Definitely. I mean, for me, it was just an array of emotion. I couldn't explain the odds i i felt some you deep feel. sharp pain yeah. in my chest <laughs> like that night i couldn't sleep it was just mm. i was just crying but over the days over the weeks i've come to understand that we should not you know mourn like as though we do not have hope okay. yeah. i mean we know that he's in a good place and should i tell you i actually saw him in my dream okay and I was just like, you know what, this is, this is a good one. Because he was smiling. He was mm. actually dancing. You know, the, 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 the aura he walks in, yeah. anytime he comes into a room. Mm -hmm. yeah. he, in my dream, he walks into the office, the That's usual the style. Way. And he was, you know, talking with his very audible, loud voice. And everybody was, oh, pastor is here. And he was just really smiling and, you know, just speaking yes. to everyone. I just <laughs> love, and that was what I saw in my dream. And I'm like, okay. Mm. Is in a better place, so that alone yeah. is a comfort yeah, for me, and sure, right. we just thank God. But then we're going to be celebrating his life in the celebration service. We're not mourning, yeah. but then I would like you to stick around as we go on a break. When we we'll come back, we have you know loads of loads of uh, contents, videos, and tributes that we've uh, put together just for this episode. Please stick around, we'll be right back.
you welcome back from the break. This is Keep It Simple, if you're just tuning in, and we are having a commemoration episode of our, of our boss, our pastor, our mentor, Pastor Folaunsho Emmanuel Bino. Um, he's the founding pastor of the Kingdom House, Kufamint Kingdom House, in um, Amuwa Dofi. And yesterday, 23rd of May, they had a commemoration service in honor of him. And um, I would like us to take a look at his autobiography, sorry, his biography that was relayed during the commemoration service at his church yesterday. Let's take a look at that. God bless our children in Jesus' name. Briefly, I will be taking the biography of our pastor. Pastor Iman Mufalon Shaw Oluwag Bemiro Oluwag Shegwambino was born into the family of Pastor Dr. Elijah Oludeli Abino and late Matron Felicia Oluremi Abino on October 11, 1967 in Aradagun, Badagri, Lagos State, Nigeria. Although the parents lived in Mushin at the time he was born in Aradagun, his father's village, by the special instruction of God to the father before his birth, the parents had lost two sons who died in their infancy. While in prayers, the Lord instructed his father to send his mother to his parents in the village as soon as she conceived. When she conceived, she was sent to his village and handed over to a praying church that took care of her and prayed fervently with her. The Lord gave them victory and Emmanuel was born. His father gave him the names Emmanuel, God with us. Mufalon Risho, I hand him over to God for, for safe keeping. Oluwagbemiro, the Lord upheld and sustained me. While his maternal grandmother gave him Oluwa Shegu, the Lord has won the victory. Thereafter, Emmanuel and his mother moved back to Mushi. He loved the Lord right from his young age at, ve at various times. While his father preached and thought in church, he would come and fasten himself to him Struggling at him and attempting to speak. As he grew, he was particularly fond of street evangelism, which his father and church regularly engaged in. So much so that even as a little child, he regularly preached on the streets. His favorite call to action was Enyara Ninu, Enyara Ni Adukboi, brethren in this neighborhood. Emmanuel attended Labake Memorial Nursery and Primary School in Ilasa Maja, Mushi. He also attended Twins Nursery and Primary School, owned by late Miss J.O. Martins, wife of late Pastor J.O. Martins, who owned Primary Nursery and uh, Nursery and Primary School on Otomi Street, Papa Ajao. Emmanuel was a very brilliant child, so much that he left twins in primary for, for for in primary four to attend one of the best secondary schools in nigeria at that time mufalo unsho had to leave adiola or dutola within two years because he battled with sickness he finished his secondary school education at Aju, ajumoni grammar school in okeota isolo in 1983 the absence of his parents direct supervision in in the boarding school he attended had diverse effects on him he basled and picked up several bad habits upon his return to lagos he lost interest in the things of god and cut school he associated with bad friends who further drew him away from the lord as a result of his lack of interest in school he didn't enter the university until several years later at this point, many people gave up on him. Some suggested that he should become a welder's apprentice. Others said God couldn't turn him around again. Many saw him as a reproach to the ministry of his parents. However, his parents never gave up, gave up on him. Every opportunity his father, every opportunity ever praying maternal grandmother, late Miss, Mrs. Abigail Akinremi, 
and mother would continue to drum into his ear that he was born to be a minister of God. They never stopped praying for him or loving him, even when he almost left the house. Soon, God answered their prayers, and the redemptive power of God turned Oluwashegu around again. He returned to Jesus, his first love. Only that this time, the intensity of his zeal and passion for the Lord was unbridled. He gave his all. He became sought, sought after by everyone whose child had given them concern. Parents till this day use him as a point of contact for God to turn their life, to turn the life of their children around. Meanwhile, Pastor Fola Unsho eventually got admitted into, into the Lagos State University, Lasso, in 1980. Oh, wow. And that's the biography of um, our pastor, our mentor, our boss, Pastor Fola Unsho Abino. And uh, let's, let's run a quick comment on that. <laughs> I, from, from what I've heard, one of the things that stood out for me is the fact that uh, first is a miracle child. Yeah. And the truth is, God has us in his palm. Like he has, he has drafted whatever our purpose, our vision, everything he wants us to come to this heart to achieve. He has it. Yeah. And um, for, for a, like a man of God, someone that served God, mm. that is also still serving mm. God, for him to have experienced, you know, um, you know, issues with childbirth about twice. Mm. I mean, so I, 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 I can't just imagine the, the tough time that the jail of the mission had to pass through. But mm -hmm. finally, God answered their prayer and they had Fala Unsho Abino. Mm -hmm. And those names, they were actually very profound. So for me, yeah, he's a miracle child. And it's not surprising that even though the devil tried to, you know, raise his ugly head, you know, to, to um, just tamper with his journey, God still came strong and God proved himself. And we are here today celebrating his life because yeah, he actually lived a life of impact yeah. and service to God yeah. and to mankind. Exactly, exactly. So um, while watching the biography, I got to understand why I think it was, I, I don't know for, I don't know if you've been able to hear a lot of people talk about him, how open he is to people. He doesn't look at the fact that, oh, I'm the geo son or oh, I am a big pastor or something. Mm -hmm. Like he, accom he accommodates every but you understand both people that are low, medium, or high or something. He's so, he, he's so accommodating, which makes me remember the last time I saw him at the airport. We went for an assignment, and it was... Okay, so he was talking about the assignment at the Kingdom House, the church where he pastors. And it was like, he said, he was talking about the evangelism um, 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 mission, the yeah. Okay. How they are reaching out to people. He talked about the t-shirts they made. I think he's... What they wrote is that you matter to God, right? You matter to me, you matter and to God. You, you, you yeah. matter to me, you matter to God. How God gave him that revelation and how much God has come through for the church with that revelation. How people are coming to the church. He, he, he talked about people that, are, that have been, that, that, are, that are addicted to drugs. You know, people from the slums, guys that their lives seem like it's been wasted or have been wasted. How they go forth, how he preaches to them himself and, 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 his, and his church members, they go, they preach to these people, they come to church, and he says that, you know, one thing he said that they was that he accepts them the way they yeah. come. Sure. So to the extent that there was one that came and, you know, the love that the guy felt and all that, and the guy traveled to Abuja and he was like, oh, I'm going to refer you to um, our church at Abuja. Yeah. And the guy yeah. went there, and when the guy got to Abuja, the guy called him, was like, oh, pastor, it's not the same way your church is in Lagos, <laughs> not the same way this church in Abuja is a, there is a clear difference and I, I think the guy was now busy in Abuja and he was like I miss coming to church like it's not the same thing what, what I'm seeing at Kingdom House is not the same thing I'm seeing at at um Abuja. Abuja and he was he was, he was talking there, there was I think one of his pastors was there with him that day so they were talking about how there's a lot of um harvest the harvest is right there are a lot of things that God has said to him and all that imagine when I was remembering all those things when I heard about his death I'm like he had he had so many plans he had okay, so okay. I, I mean he had so many things on his head that man is one man and he's so intelligent like if he speaks to you like just five minutes you feel like you can carry the world on your shoulder like you can lift the world you can literally lift the world on your shoulder because of the kind of motivation it gives yes. to people he see we can't we can't just stop honoring and celebrating this 
this this man of God he is he was should I say he is I'm, I'm still using he is like <laughs> sentence, of course <laughs> all right I, okay. I would just bless God basically all right Kevin yeah we do Okay, I mean, I, from the biography. She has, I, I, know, I, I feel like she has said <laughs> almost everything I had in mind. So basically, um, from his biography, it's so obvious that it's, I, I think it's obvious why he's a man who gives people many chances. Yeah. Mm. You know, he's a man who doesn't give up on people. Yeah, basically. because God did not give up on exactly. him. And even his parents, even his parents and his, and his maternal, maternal grandmother. grandmother. That so was profound. It's, it's obvious. I, I think that's the reason why he personally doesn't give up on people. And apart from that, that is maybe may, part of what informed the vision, the Kingdom House vision. Yeah. Because just like Ricky mentioned, the culture in Kingdom House is very different from the general churches. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to put it like that. So the culture is a whole lot different. So there's every tendency that you come to Kingdom House and you attend another branch and you're comparing like, ah, there's a lot of difference here and all of that. So that is what compelled it because that vision had to... I think it has a lot to do with him, he himself, and mm, his yeah. own experience. It's an expression yeah. of and his every, experience. Exactly, yeah. and everything he had gone through and all of that. And it was interesting that God now decided to commit that Kingdom House vision yeah. into his hands and say, okay, yes, you are the right person for this, this job. And trust me, a lot of people benefited and are still benefiting for from me. that vision. All right, yeah. can we get to see the concluding part of that biography? Thank you. He became the evangelism secretary of the Gospel Student Fellowship, Lasso, chapter, from 1989 to 1993. While his friend and classmate, Pastor Mike Omar, Omar Laoye, was the president, he graduated from Lasso with BA in English in 1995. He was the best overall student in Lasso. He graduated a year later than scheduled because of constant strikes in the university system. He went on to obtain his master's degree and several other certificates. Emmanuel was multi-talented and skilled. Even while growing up, he fixed anything that is in the house, be it furniture, electricity, television, other appliances, car, etc. He just seemed to know what to do. Though he studied English as a first as a first degree in the university, anyone who heard him speak could easily mistake him for a lawyer or a politician. This brilliance led him to self-taught computer programming, networking, electronic commerce. At a time when ICT in the banking industry was at its infancy, a part of he he partnered, he partnered with his friend and they designed internet banking solution for several banks, including Standard Trust Bank, Standard Chartered Bank, UBA, Platinum Bank, etc. He even, he even developed a software called Doctor's Secretary that could be used by doctors for diagnosing illness and providing new solution. His brilliance and intelligence endured many organizations in him who sought his expertise on several issues. This include UNESCO, the Nigerian National Assembly, MDCN, Obasanjo Schools, several federal ministries and parastasters. He introduced concepts and design solutions which put him in the line in high demand in the house in and outside Nigeria and across the world. This took him to several states in Nigeria and several countries around the world, including Mali, Zimbabwe, Togo, Benin Republic, Ghana, Germany, United Kingdom.
was actually breathtaking. And um, for me, if I'm to talk about Pastor Polo and Shabino, like we're not going to be leave, we are going, we're not going to leave here today. There is a lot to be said about him, but um, I would just say that um, he's a man of wisdom, and he's very very intelligent, and most of his works, it speaks excellence. At least I'm, I'm not I'm not surprised that some of the things they said they are done with multinationals, mm -hmm. there are things that he, he actually, he, he developed them himself. I mean, he studied the English language, but then he ended up being like um, a software um, developer. Yeah. Yeah. He is an ICT guru that connected him to so many multinationals and you know, many projects he has had to do. The man is very, very intelligent. I mean, if I can just have a half of, <laughs> of that, really. And like you, know, you said, Rookie, he's so, so accessible and approachable. You know, if I'm going to have any regrets right now, it will be that I wish I have had more time to just, you know, to, to draw from his wealth of experience and knowledge. He's actually very accessible, but we are the one that kind of creates that bridge. Ah, you know, he's our guy, he's our pastor, he'll be very busy, don't let me go and disturb him. But anytime he comes, he's like, you guys not call me, you're not checking for me, I've been, I've not been around, no call, how are you doing, how is work? I mean, he's just so concerned about everybody around him, and... Surely, I'm going to miss him. Trust me, I will miss him. But then, I still have hope that we would see someday. Definitely. Someday, someday. So, ladies, your final word on this episode. <laughs> your final word. You're running out of okay. time. Well, seriously, right now, I'm actually very speechless. But I, what I want to say is that um, there's, there's just this hashtag that has been going on that um, EA lives. I think that um, it's, it's just very profound. It lives in our hearts. Yeah. It lives in our wealth of knowledge. It lives in the fact that he has motivated us to do a lot of things that we thought that we could not do before. Mm -hmm. It just, it lives. Thank you. Kemi. Yes, it lives. <laughs> All right. So we wrap up on this episode today. Thank you so much for watching. Join us same time, same station tomorrow. And also, do not forget that we have a um, lineup of events to celebrate the life of our pastor, our mentor, our boss, um, late Pastor Emmanuel Falon Shabino. On Wednesday, we are having the commendation service, tribute, and candle night. It is happening at um, the GoFamit Main Auditorium, Lagos Ibano Express. We are Sheshi by 4 p.m. On Thursday, we are having service of song by 4 p.m. at the Hapu Hall, Agor Palace Way. That's um, around Amu Ward of Fin. Then on Friday, we are having his funeral service at the Gospel Pay Mission International Region 12 headquarters. That's uh, at Magodo. Uh, we'll keep you informed, you know, during the course of the week if there is anything you should know about. So till we see you tomorrow again, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.